Well, it's puppy training time. We were given a little tiny, adorable little puppy, and we named her Sky because her eyes are like the starry sky, and her hair is like the midnight sky, and her eyes are also like the blue sky. So she became Sky, and she is so precious. So I am having to be in puppy training mode. So I've been doing some research, and I found there are a ton of ways to train your puppy. Well, not a ton, but a lot. And so I've decided to glean from each person and do what's best for our little puppy. But when it all boils down to everything for me in my life, it all goes back to the Bible. What does God say about puppy training? So training is the main word here. And it says in, the Bible says in 1 Timothy 4, 6 through 10, training in righteousness so that a servant may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. And in 2 Timothy 3, 17, that a man may be competent, equipped for every good work. But how to train a dog? Is the dog training you or are you training the dog or, you know, it's all up to you. I feel it's both because I am learning a lot from doing research on how to study to train a dog for me. I have learned that I'm so tense and when I'm tense, she's tense. So I have to bring myself down and I'm learning how tense of a person I am, I'm constantly having to bring myself down and it's been a journey these past 12 or 13 days since we've had her and I've taken to the Bible. So there's five things that are under training. And the first thing is study, to study, to show yourself approved. Watch YouTube videos, learn how to train your dog, watch other trainers, take your dog to a professional trainer, learn, watch how they do that, read about it. So study, Study to show yourself approved. Study to show how to do the sit and the stays. You can do it. The second thing is to take action. That when your dog is being disobedient, you need to get up and say no. Let your no be no and your yes be yes. Get up, take action. Wake up when she starts whimp he or she starts whimpering to go to the potty so she doesn't make the potty mistake. If she's nipping, say no. And whatever way you decide to discipline, do that. The third thing is patience. Studying and training your dog takes a lot of patience. A puppy is a puppy. He's going to chew, he's going to nip, he's going to bite. He's going to go to potty where he or she's not supposed to. But you as the parent trainer need to have patience with your puppy and your puppy training. Relax and enjoy the dog's company in whatever state your puppy is in. Because in James 1, 3 through 4, it says that knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience, but let patience have her perfect work. So be patient with your little puppy. So we have study, we have take action, and we have patience. And the fourth thing is to love. Don't be cruel to your puppy. Don't be cruel to yourself. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 6, 14, love covers a multitude of sins. There are so many scriptures about love, loving your neighbor more than yourself. The greatest of these is love. So love, love on your puppy. There's a fifth thing, and that fifth thing is self-control. You need to learn to control what you do, how you act, how you react. So, some food for thought. Are you studying? Are you taking action? <clears throat> Are you rewarding when you should reward? <clears throat> Are you disciplining when you should discipline? Are you being patient? Are you showing her love? All these things are required if you have been blessed enough to be, have been given a little puppy or a dog. So begin today. It's never too late to learn. So may God bless you and may God bless your puppy and your dog journey, that it's a joyful one.